First on Fox, a jail incident report shows a 41-year-old woman crying for medical help was given Tylenol and put on suicide watch before dying from a brain tumor. It happened at the Pike County, Missouri jail where Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is looking for answers. The jail's own investigative report lays out a timeline that shows the woman cried for medical help for months. You could tell she something was wrong and she was ignored. She was losing her vision. She had headaches. Holly Groat's complaints were consistent and daily, according to family. I thought she might have had a stroke from the things that she was saying. Grote was detained at the Pike County, Missouri jail on a drug charge last June. When Grote told family she couldn't get a medical response from the jail, relatives say they personally visited the sheriff. And I asked if there was any way that he would be able to let her go to the hospital. And he told me no. He said that um, people do it for attention a lot. He sent someone to the hospital the night before. And I'm like, well, what did they do? How did they get, how did they get to go, you know? She's been four months, she's been crying, begging you guys, telling you guys, and her physical appearance has changed. A lay person would know this person needed medical care. Clayton lawyer Mark Pedroli is investigating the case for Grote's family. He uncovered these jail documents showing Grote began complaining shortly after being arrested. Medical complaints are first documented July 28, 2021, and another inmate said Grote's eye was drooping. By October 23rd, Grote said her head hurt so bad she was going to kill herself. An officer noted scratch marks on the forearm wrist area. She still did not get the attention that she needed. She still was never ever sent to the hospital after she had done physical harm to herself. Another officer wrote, looks like she's in pain, but overall normal, laying on the pod floor crying and seems like she can't think. Detention doctor advised to give inmate Grote 1,000 milligram Tylenol, then placed in what is referred to as a pickle suit, an anti-suicide smock. Officers then documented observing her on this video while on suicide watch. An officer wrote that she was acting strangely and that she would only grunt in response to questions. She then slowly rolled off her bunk. How consistent her complaints were and how often she pled just to get to go to a hospital, just to have somebody drive her down the road to see a doctor. And, and, and that would have saved her life. An autopsy found her brain was swollen from a tumor located on the right side. The sheriff wrote in response, due to the pending possible litigation, I'm declining to be interviewed at this time as my words may be misconstrued and my opinions misinterpreted as facts. He also said, quote, an investigation was completed for any wrongdoing by staff and has been forwarded to the Pike County prosecutor who will be sending it to an outside prosecutor for review. Grote's sister and daughter said they asked the sheriff, what would it take to get an inmate to the hospital? They said they were told he would have to be bleeding out or vomiting in a way in which it was obvious something is wrong. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.